20 years ago when my partner, Jim Andrews, and I staked a claim up north of here and started to work. We had a nice vein of ore that paid off for months. And things were looking good for us until the ore started to pinch off. And then one day it was gone. But we knew that a little deeper in, we'd strike it again. So we worked harder than ever. This blast should open up a new vein that'll make us forget all about the other. I had a few ideas and plans of my own, especially about the gold from the new vein. I'd worked hard on that mine, and this time I wanted it all for myself. I figured that if my partner was in the mine and the dynamite went off accidentally, I wouldn't have a partner anymore, and his share of the mine would be mine. OK, Jim. Better check the connections on your end. Sure thing, Farrell. Jim went back into the tunnel to make a final inspection of the powder and electrical connections. That was just the way I'd planned it. So I had to work fast to get the detonator rigged. Then I waited until he got closer. Eagerly, I searched for the gold we both knew was there, the gold that would make me rich. But we'd guessed wrong, and all I could see was hard rock. Gold is where you find it. But the vein we were searching for wasn't there. I suddenly realized the mine was worthless. It was hard to believe, but my dreams of riches had vanished, and I had murdered my partner. All for nothing. Suddenly, I saw him move. He was still alive. Jim. Farrell, oh, you... No, it was an accident, Jim. Something happened to the wires, a, a short circuit. I'll get you some water. I have a baby daughter. Her mother's dead. My share of the gold I left for her in a trust fund in Grass Valley with an attorney named... Jason Howley. Don't worry, Jim. I'll see that she gets the money. Thanks a lot, Farrell. I have a picture of her in my... A trust fund in Grass Valley. So that's what he'd been doing with his money. Saving it for that kid of his while I was spending mine on fun and excitement at the gambling table. Well, you can't leave a dead partner for the coyotes and buzzards, or for the police either. So I decided that the mine would be a proper grave for Jim Andrews. And maybe Jim's accident was going to make me rich after all. One silver dollar dated 1899. If it was going to bring me the same kind of luck it brought Jim, I didn't want it. So I gave it back to him. But the trust fund was something else. Just like he had told me, the picture of the baby was there in his wallet, along with his other personal papers. <laughs> 